today I'm going to present you my new painting, White Cubes. This painting is part of the show 202020. 20 artists in 2020 at Heidi Wong Fine Art. So hi guys, um, I'm with Heidi and she's going to ask me some questions to learn more about the painting. Thank you. Hi everybody. I guess my first question for you is, this painting is entitled White Cube. Why? Why? So the general concept I'm working with is we have our physical entity and nowadays with the social medias and all our online interaction, for me, I think that you have a digital entity. And for this painting in particular, what I've done is I used the title of white cubes that I represented in the middle of the painting because it's a delimited space and it relates to the notion of time and space developed by Bergson. So it's one in one world how our environment is delimited digitally speaking in time the way the time we spend online and in space as we have in our interaction online specific goals and specific interaction with a certain type of people due to the implementations of uh, algorithms. So I know that you made a lot of work during the lockdown. This has been a super fertile time for artists and I know this painting is related to COVID-19 yeah. and I wondered if you could tell everybody how. So the starting point is during the COVID-19 at the beginning in the news you had the story of a cruise ship which was in the harbor, stuck in the harbor with COVID-19 uh, uh, patients. And what I've done is part of the photo on the background that I put on the background, it's the blue shape, and it represents the windows of the cruise ship. And also there you have the blueprint of the cruise ship. And the relationship with the pandemic and with the white cube is if you go on a cruise ship for your vacation, you extract yourself from the society, you go to a certain place with certain rules and space as it is a cruise ship on the sea. That's why I wanted to integrate this part inside the painting and also to link to the entertaining uh, business. I put a photo of a box ring in the middle behind the white cube. And as you can see, you have there two boxers and it's during a game where the boxers uh, were standing alone as when you have a pandemic you couldn't have any physical spectators so all the spectators the viewers were remotely uh, watching the game so it's also the distanciation as in a cruise ship you send photos of your vacation of your physical entity during the vacation you send photos so you become more digital same thing in the middle you have this game which is remotely watched by viewers and it's how you envision through the networks the digital networks the life of others and on the on my right side on this side you have blueprints and maps of ancient Rome and ancient Rome as of course, in the history, the, the course of history collapsed because of its complexity, but also uh, it collapsed because it was touched by pandemics. 
So I wanted to make a relationship with history and how complex society can collapse uh, when they are touched by unpredicted uh, events. Um, so Heidi, okay, you so to... you touched on two things that I would say are very much recurring themes in your work, which is uh, the 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 balance between the digital self and the real self, and the virtual self in the digital world. Um, is very much addressed here, as well as you regularly reference what's happening currently with, with history, and I, and I love that. You have a bit of an obsession with algorithms. Are you addressing them in any way in this painting? Yes, in a certain way, because uh, for me, as we interact online through digital networks, but uh, more consistently with like uh, social medias like Facebook. Uh, also in our research, we are driven by algorithms. I like to tackle the subject of the physical entity and the digital entity. And it's really how you appear to others through the digital networks by an implementation of algorithms. And to support this idea, I like to draw networks. They are like digital networks. They are completely imaginary because I want to think that in the future, those kind of networks, those kind of exchange for digital uh, networks will evolve and will change. We don't know yet how they will look like, so that's why I use those kind of lines very detailed lines all over the painting to really focus on networks and also algorithms and how we follow certain lines in regards of how algorithms um, lead us towards certain subject or certain perspective of others. Okay, so there's one more area okay. that I think we really associate with you and your work, and that is your beloved Michel Foucault in, in Terratopias. Yes. And I wondered, is that going on here? Yes. And of can course. you talk about that? Yes, because for me, um, so you have your digital entity, your physical entity. So to give you a quick notion of Michel Foucault and Terratopias, it's the other spaces within the society. For example, a church has certain rules and it's inside the society, a prison, a school. So in this painting, it's related to the cruise ship because it's a kind of heterotopias. It's another space within the society with certain rules linked to time and space and you relate to the white cube. Also the gaming, like in an arena, you have certain rules and to follow and a certain space. So it's still within the society, but it has its, its kind of own rules. You can't, like for example, during a, uh, a show, you are, a, you are supposed to sit down in a certain uh, place and you need to respect the other ones. You can't uh, stand up and shout like you could do in another space. So those kinds of thinking. And that's why for me, it's related to Michel Foucault and the heterotopias, because the future of our digital entity within the society is an heterotopia because it does exist. It's not a utopia because a utopia never really exists and can be, cannot be sustainable. An heterotopia is sustainable. So this is it. And uh, Heidi, if you have something to say about the show. Uh, so we are uh, representing 20 artists at the gallery, uh, local artists, I might add. Um, and this was for 2020. I'm delighted to say that today's January 2nd, yes. and it's actually 2021. And I think, I hope we've put the worst behind us. 
but you have a show opening up this month in Montreal. Yes. You could talk about that and our show next month. Yes, so in January 23rd, I will have a group show called Abstractions at the Gallery Patrick Michel in Montreal. And in March, I will have a show here called The Order of Simulation. And it will be from February 27 until April 9th. And you are welcome to hang out at Heidi's. She's very welcoming and she We will... are we are very socially distanced. Oh, well, yes. We still uh, uh, we are wearing our masks. We are not having many people in the gallery at any one time. We're limited to 10 in the entire space. Um, and we've not exceeded that uh, in uh, since since we shut down in March. Um, and if you are blessed to live in Houston, you could even have a tour of Emily's magnificent studio, which is in the museum district. She has a fabulous, is it three stories? Three stories. Three story contemporary house that she doesn't live in. She has a beautiful house that is not this one. This is her studio and she is able to have this studio because Emily sells a lot of art. She's a fabulous, uh, super talented artist who I am utterly, utterly honored to represent. And um, come see us, come see the studio, come see her show. Ta-da.